What's up, YouTube? It's Toron coming at you another episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play, and today we're taking on the Wither. Um, I went ahead and upgraded to the latest snapshot, and I want to make a beacon. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill the Wither. And so I've currently got myself a speed potion going, of course. I have an extra one. I have a couple golden apples. I have some steak. Uh, splash potion is strength. As soon as I create the wither, I'll hit myself with those um, ender pearls that I've gathered just to get out of here. And the bow. This doesn't matter really, which means I can go ahead and throw this. This. Uh, we can do that. There we go. And as soon as we can throw that, we'll break that. All right. So let's go ahead and see how this goes, and hopefully we survive. Come on. There we go. Come on. I wonder if they're following me over the water. He will, but he's doing no damage out here. Let's go. Come on. Stop. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. So, in the water, his blasts don't do near as much damage, it seems. Oh, please tell me it didn't land. Oh, okay, we did get it. Thank goodness. So that's it, you guys. We uh, owned... We owned Sir Wither. Oh, crud. He was doing some damage out here. Yeah, I'm glad we ran to the water, because out in the water, he wasn't destroying the land. Maybe the water is a better tactic for taking on the Wither, because he doesn't do damage. You can keep moving. And it doesn't seem like his wither was really affecting me as like it, I've seen it do in some videos. So either he's bugged right now or the water helped prevent some problems. I'll have to look into that and try it again next time. So yeah, I'm just gathering this all up so I can fix it eventually. Because if water makes a difference like that, that was crazy. Wow. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, my castle and or at least go back to the village area, and I will be back with you guys here shortly. All right, everybody. I'm here at the base. I actually uh, spent some time and dug out my place, put my emeralds down for the uh, the beacon. There's our beacon now, and we're going to go ahead and sacrifice our pay our fee I think we'll take some speed and call it good so what I did is I put it at the bottom of the stairway here beneath the uh, right here in the middle so it goes all the way up um, I will show you guys where that goes in a moment. I wanted to show you something else. And I've been working on this room over here. 
And as you can see here, I have raised the ceiling in this room and made these pillars look more like, well, pillars. So they're not so short, it doesn't feel so crammed, they actually feel like they support the room now. Um, so I like, I like the way it turned out in here. And then of course in here hasn't really changed much. I used lava behind some iron bars for some lighting effect. You have those. Oh, up here in the ceiling though, since the curved stairs, we now, it looks proper up there, which makes me happy. Um, we have a bedroom up here, of course, which is still... Uh, oh, yeah, I also finished the treasure room. I don't know if I showed that to you guys. Over here, you walk in here, and... Boom! It opens up all the treasure areas that I have set up. Nothing's in them yet. And when we get item frames, I'll put the item... F when I get some item frames made... And I know what I'm putting in here. I'll probably put the item from either on the wall there or on the iron bars and let the light come from behind it. But that's the treasure room that I made. And what we're going to do now is go up top. I have one more thing to show you guys. And then we're going to probably call this video a wrap. I know it's kind of short today. Um, and I want to do some longer videos with you guys. Oh, I'm out of... Oh, I need food. Hmm, do I have any food down here? I can't remember if I do or not. Um, no. At least not in there. Those are all my records I transported over here. Oh, I also... Um, if you notice, the brewing water is down there, underneath the, uh... I'm pretty sure, yeah, I haven't put any food in there yet. Alright, so we gotta be careful. We'll guzzle that so we can get where we're going quicker. And I'm pretty sure I have some food either up top, or in my chest over here. But anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm planning to do some more episodes this week. What the heck is that? Okay, that just looked funny for a minute there. Wow, weird. Yeah, there's just little, a few little glitches going on here. But yeah, I like the way that the, uh, the beam of light looks. Uh, more speed potions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the only problem is that the light, the beam of light's in our face as we climb up the ladder. But eventually it won't matter because this is going to be spiral staircase going all the way up anyways. Do you have any food in here? Please? Feed me! Hopefully I have some food, you guys. Uh, we'll find out here in a second. Uh, do, 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 no. Uh, rotten flesh will do. And of course, uh, the last time I eat it is when I get sick from eating it. Great. That's alright. It still keeps me full so I don't die from uh, lack of food. So what I did is I had to redo my fountain a little bit up here. Um, what I had to do was basically uh, put a glass block in the top that the light can go through. And then the water is around the light block. So it still works out pretty well. I like it. Uh, what I've done actually is to be found over yonder. I need to make an easier way to get over here. I 
Um, yeah, I'll show you guys here in a second what I've done. Do, do, do. The way I get my emeralds is over here. I took Doc M77's emerald breeding station that he created and made my own. I will give a link to his video in the description for his tutorial on how to make it. But it's pretty awesome. I, uh... I've killed most of my villagers off, so they're currently breeding again. But, as you can see, it's his breeding system. And what I do is, as, uh, where'd he go? Um, hello? Okay. Is he still in there, or did he dis did he die? Hmm. Looks like I. How did you get out, fool? How? How did you get out? All right. Um. Let me go ahead and fix this, and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, everybody. I got my villager back in his little cart. Not sure exactly how he got out of there, but we got him back in there. So basically, though, um, he sits up there. These guys get all lovey-dovey because it thinks it's a village, and they make baby villagers like the one you saw back there. And basically, if they have a trade that I like, we trade with them. If they don't, we kill them and continue going. So it's basically an infinite trade system uh, for many, many, many emeralds. It's pretty awesome. So, but I will uh, link that to you guys uh, in the description to DocM's build for that. Um, I really like it though. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so now, basically, that's it, you guys. We took on the Wither, killed him. We created our first beacon in our base, which I, it's not like the optimal placement for it, but I wanted to have the beam of light going straight up the middle of the stairway kind of thing there. I thought that would look pretty cool. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do in the Wizard's Keep in, the, in my little main room up there, I think it would be kind of cool to have one. Uh, but we'll see. That's yet to be decided what would be the best, where would be the best place to put one. Uh, I actually may do one in the middle of the village over here. Do like a regeneration one or something, or who knows. I haven't quite decided what one I want to do in the village yet. I do want to do one, so I'm not sure yet which one we're going to do. Uh, maybe the regeneration or the strength one or something. Hey, look, it's going to be evening time. So, and I still need to expand this village some more. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Villagers are pretty easy. Uh, villages are pretty easy to expand. I thinking I'll just go over here oh I haven't been over here long enough for it to grow yeah I think we'll work on the village next oh hey I can do pumpkin pie that's what I'm going to start making some more of his pump making myself some of his pumpkin pie Especially since it's almost Thanksgiving and that's like my favorite uh, dessert during this time of year. My mom makes an awesome pumpkin pie. So, but I still have another, uh, I still need to do another video recording of my uh, How to Play Minecraft series. Uh, so that'll be coming out soon as well. 
And then I'm probably going to start a uh, World of Warcraft one for my Pandarian monk I'm going to start. Uh, just to do that with you guys. Um, but anyways, uh, this video, I know it's kind of short, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief rundown of what's been going on. You know, my mom was in town. I didn't have a lot of time to do videos because I don't get to see my mom very often. And she's uh, probably one of my best friends in the whole world. So having her here for a few weeks was awesome, and I wanted to make sure that she got my attention and I wasn't, you know, busy trying to play video games or whatnot while she was here. Uh, but I do appreciate all of my subscribers. Anybody that's newly subscribed, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. You know, like and comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think of my videos, what I can do better, what you guys would like to see. Um, you know, just l let me know what you think. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys, and I hope everyone is having a great day. And I will have to talk to you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.